Hello, my name is Travis, but I'm very sure you don't care about that yet. So let's just get started with what I'll be showing you today. I'm going to be running through three things. First, how to grab objects from a distance that it snaps directly to your hand. Then I'll show you how to pull objects to your hand over the distance. This one's a bit buggy, but it's a good starting point for you to find a better solution. And then I'll quickly demonstrate the shimmer for when you're targeting an object to be grabbed. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is in the BP motion controller, we're going to duplicate the grab sphere. I'm going to call it long grab sphere. And inside that, we're going to put a sphere static mesh. We'll just call it sphere. I'm going to turn the material to glass so that I can see through it. And then we're going to change the scale from 1 to 0.2 the whole way around. And then we're going to set the collision to overlap all. Turning it off completely. There. Next thing we're going to do is duplicate the grab actor. And come down here. Kate. And I'm going to call this grab actor far and I'm going to duplicate get actor near hand and call this one get actor far from hand all right since we're already in get actor far from hand let's just do what we need to do here pull in the long grab sphere reference and replace the grab sphere reference in it delete that go back to grab actor far and this get actor near hand needs to get replaced by get actor far from hand. Replace where all of the nodes in that one go. Delete that. And move this down. Perfect. Compile. Save. Then we're going over to the... This is something I like to do. But uh, I turn the grab sphere off when I'm holding something so you don't see the sphere popping in through whatever you're holding and then I can turn it back on when I drop it and make sure new visibility is set save and now we're going over to the event graph as soon as I there um, we're going to add a new uh, pin for the sequence Bring it all the way down here, and we're going to uh, line trace line trace by channel. I set the visibility by camera. I'm going to get the arc direction. I'm going to get the world location and the forward vector of the arc location. There you are. I'm going to first put it to start, pull a second pin out, and add plus vector vector. And then we're going to pull up a vector times float. And the first thing you can do is put a thousand in there, that's fine, but I'm going to create this into its own variable so I can change it easier later. And set variable name to grab distance. From out hit, we're going to break hit result. Stretch this out to set world location of long grab sphere. All right. So from location, we're going to vector minus vector. That's going to be start or trace start. And that is going to a plus vector vector, also to trace start. 
and then from the plus we're going to select vector and run B down to trace end. Plug that into the new location and the return value goes to pick A. Check what we're doing, compile, save. Then we're going to the motion controller pawn. And all we're really doing here is right after where it says grab actor, we are telling it to grab actor far. Run that from left controller, do the same thing for the right controller. Right controller. And that is all we're doing in the motion controller pawn. Next, we're going to the BP pickup cube. And all we really need to do here is the location rule and the rotation rule. We're going to snap to target. Scale rule stays how it is. Compile. So back in the game, you can see that you have a glass orb attached to both hands. And whenever something is touching it, it will immediately snap to your hand when you hit grip. Works for both hands, as you can see. I like this way. It immediately teleports right to your hand. It's, it's simpler, in my opinion. And as you can see, the orb will go for whatever distance you have it set to, and works perfectly. All right, so now we're going to work on pulling the object to the hand. It's really simple. All we're going to do is duplicate the pickup cube, and I'm just going to leave it as pickup cube 1. What we're going to do is change the material so we can distinguish which one we're picking up. And we're going to pull event pickup back a little bit. And from attach to, we're going to put the get world transform. And we're going to split the pin so that we have these showing. I'm going to move the component to, let me find it. Here we are. So move component to, the component we're using is the static mesh, so we're just going to pull it down here. And then just connect the location and rotation pins. Normally would leave it at point 2, but I'm going to leave it at point 5 for the sake of this test. Uh, compile, save. And we're going to put a couple in the map. So when we hold it for that 0.5 seconds, it snaps directly to hand. As I said, it's a little bit buggy, and if you find a better solution for this, please let me know. But for right now, that's what I've got to work. All right, and the last thing we're going to be doing is adding a shimmer to things that we're about to pick up so it's easier to see from a distance. That way you don't actually need the sphere. So what I've done is duplicated a, um, a cube the same size and I'm going to call it hover glow and we're going to change this to arc ah, here we go spline arc so that it has this pulse I'm going to make it invisible. And we're just going to add a little bit of code. On component begin overlap with static mesh and end overlap. So we can make this really simple. Come on, where is it? There we go. So we're going to cast the BP motion controller, connecting it to the other actor. And then we're going to set the visibility of Hover Glow to yes. We're going to duplicate this and just bring it down here. Of course, changing it to no. And 
here on grab, we're going to set the visibility so that when you're holding it, it's not glowing. Now when I was making this video, I actually forgot to change the visibility, so right there, new visibility should be no. Compile, save, and now you can see the clear um, highlight of what you'll be picking up. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has been very useful for you. Um, this has actually been my first YouTube video ever. And if you have any requests or questions, please drop me a line in the comments. My hope is to be doing this a lot very soon once I get some better equipment. Thank you and have a good night.